to my studio. This art journal is about painting bats. The way most people see bats and they get creeped out and they don't really like them. They have really sharp teeth. They have uh, these two little teeth up here, like almost in the, the front gum and then two fangs. And then the bottom teeth have a space between them, two fangs. A bat eats up to 3,000 mosquitoes and other insects each night. Without bats, we would be inundated with mosquitoes. About the anatomy of a bat, which is which they call morphology, which I realize is because they haven't morphed into their human form yet. But here are the bones, the ulna, and then there's like an elbow, and then it's like a forearm, and this is actually the hand. They call this first claw that sticks out above the wing at the top of the wing called the thumb and the second digit is the only other bone that has or finger that has a claw and it's not quite as long this is actually where it ends here the third goes all the way to the tip of the wing and the fourth is the first one that goes down and then the fifth so they actually have five fingers an elbow and a shoulder so this is the shoulder this is the elbow this is the wrist and then thumb, first is called the first finger, the second finger, the third, fourth, and fifth. Now, not all bats have this bit of wing between the tail, which is also optional, and the leg. Some of them do and some of them don't. Remember Stella Luna. is the, the ankle joint, the knee joint would probably be in here. This is the third digit, shoulder, elbow, wrist, actually right there where the um, first digit is, just that little claw. And then the second digit is not as long and then these are the third digits that don't have a claw. So on the second wing, here's the shoulder on this wing. So the other shoulder would be about here. And then this is the elbow. So here's the elbow and here's the wrist, here's the wrist. And then this fir or third digit, the second digit is going to be here with the one other sec, the only other one with the claw. And then this is going to be Okay, now it's a little more cleaned up. And I don't know if you want to be this precise, but one of the things I also learned about these bones called the digits, um, there's a metacarp up here, and then one or two phalange is, which is like, um, almost like the shape of the wings here, how, how it dips a little bit. And then there's the, the solid, you know, regular bone part of the bone which is called metacarp so 
so I don't know if you want to be that specific. And I'm going to paint this. I'm going to speed it up and paint it with watercolor. And it's just sort of a fun illustration. It's not too realistic. It's sort of my cute bat versus my sort of ugly scary bat. So first off, I'm going to uh, wet the paper to get some nice wet on wet effects. And uh, the wing also has the blood vessels, like uh, a lot of people depict the little lines that are blood vessels and like I said on hub pages you can get a lot more specific than the words little lines and blood vessels, but um, you know, depending on how realistic you want to go, you you'll need to educate yourself on just exactly what they do. If you just want them suggested by watercolor, you don't have to worry about it, but it's nice to have that information. Indigo blue or thalo blue mixed with burnt sienna makes a really good that black. watercolor of a bat. Thank you for painting along with me and thanks for watching.